Well, hi there. Today, we're going to be talking about the most important upgrade for your digital art setup. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not what you think. Hello and welcome. My name is Doodle Machine. Thank you for joining me for another artsy chat. There are lots of parts of a digital art setup. When you make digital art, you need a computer and it needs to have a processor and RAM and a graphics card and a hard drive. You need a display, maybe multiple displays, a, a keyboard and, and mouse and probably a drawing tablet. Any of these things can bottleneck your art. And that means that it doesn't matter how good everything else is. You can have the best stuff in the world, but if you have a, a crummy, cheap keyboard, for instance, then your experience making art will always be hampered by that one part of your setup. Your digital art setup is incredibly personal. Only you can say what's important for the way that you work. For example, let's say you're a 3D modeler. You know, you work in a program like Blender to create 3D sculpted characters. And for you, a computer with a powerful graphics card is going to be super important for making your workflow smooth and efficient but for someone who's making digital paintings, for instance, that stuff probably isn't as important as having a nice, big, high resolution display so that you could see your whole painting all at once in, in really high detail. I mean, sure, it would be awesome if we all had an unlimited budget and we could build amazing setups where every single component is the best of the best. But I mean, that's not super realistic, is it? Most of us need to pick and choose which upgrades that we spend our money on. There's always some part of our, our digital art setup that lags behind the rest. These parts are the parts that you're, you're most likely to think about when you have cash for the upgrade that you want. These are the most obvious choices, but they might not be the most important choice for you. So before I tell you that, we're gonna go over the basic parts of a digital art setup that you should think about when considering upgrading. I mean, these are universal to pretty much any digital artist. Any, any digital artist needs to have all of these things and each one can be upgraded to increase your productivity and your enjoyment when you're working on your art. But not all of these are as important for everyone. So let's go through each one and discuss why it's important or why it might not be important for you. Here's the parts you'll need for a digital art setup. You'll need a computer. Your computer will need a CPU, which is your central processing unit. It'll need RAM. It'll need a GPU, your graphics processing unit. It'll need a hard drive. In addition, you'll need some sort of a display or multiple displays for your computer. You'll need, you know, a mouse and keyboard, but most importantly, you'll probably need some sort of a graphics tablet, a drawing tablet. So let's start with the computer. And with the computer, we're gonna start with the processor. The processor is the part of your computer. Where it runs the entire system. Your operating system runs on your processor and your processor also does all the other tasks that you ask your computer to do. For example, if you are just drawing a picture on your computer, it's a pretty simple task for your processor to manage the inputs and outputs and you know what, what shows up rather than something like rendering a video that will require processor with lots of cores because the, the, the way that a video is rendered, it funnels different parts of the video to different cores so that it can render the whole video faster. So if your workflow is not really super intense, like if you're not doing video rendering and uh, I don't know, 3D applications and things like that, if you're sticking mostly to like Photoshop and Illustrator, if you're a illustrator or a graphic designer or a digital painter, processor isn't as important. You will need a processor that can handle the jobs you're gonna throw at it, but this probably wouldn't be high on the list of things to upgrade. However, if you are into production at all, or even if you could use your computer for other things, like gaming for instance, then yeah, a, a good processor is probably pretty important. And if your computer allows for a processor upgrade, like for example, most laptops don't allow you to upgrade a processor, but most desktops do, then it might be a good choice for you. Next up, we have the RAM. The RAM is 
where things are temporarily held on your computer. Now, the thing with RAM is most people think the more RAM, the better, you know, just load it up with RAM, but it's not really true, especially for a digital artist, because you only need so much RAM and any more than that, it's not giving you extra performance or anything like that. If you don't have enough RAM, you will definitely notice it. And you'll notice this a lot when, for example, you're working and there's lots of stutters. And while the computer is stuttering, maybe if you have an old mechanical hard drive, you can hear the hard drive grinding away. That's because the computer doesn't have enough temporary storage space. So it's using the hard drive as storage. So here's how you tell. You want to use a tool to view the processes on your computer. On Windows, there's one built in called the Task Manager. You can see your RAM usage. Pull up your art program, start working, and check your RAM usage. If your RAM usage is pretty high, like if it's pretty close to the maximum amount of RAM, then yeah, maybe a RAM upgrade would be a good idea for you. I would recommend no less than eight gigabytes of RAM for any digital art setup, maybe up to 16 for some more advanced workflows, any more than that, and you're getting into some territory of some high level uh, RAM usage and there are digital art uses for that. So if that's you, then you probably know who you are and you probably already have a ton of RAM anyways. Uh, if not, I think eight, maybe up to 16, that'll be all you ever need. And next up is the hard drive. The hard drive is where you store your stuff permanently. Your hard drive holds all of your programs. It holds your operating system. It holds all your music and movies, your documents, your photos, and all your art. If you record videos, like right now I'm recording a video, then you'll need a hard drive that has lots of storage. And this is, again, it's sort of like RAM. You'll know if you don't have enough. If your computer is telling you you're running out of storage, you need more, then yeah, a hard drive upgrade might be a good idea. In addition, if you have a mechanical hard drive, like when you're turning your computer on, if you can hear, you know, like the hard drive grinding away, you have a mechanical hard drive, an upgrade to a solid state hard drive is so, so nice. Just trust me on this one. If you can manage to upgrade your computer to a solid state hard drive from a mechanical hard drive, it just makes your quality of life so much better. It won't make your art better unless, like I said before, your art program is needing to constantly access your hard drive. It just makes everything like your programs, they just load so much faster. It makes your operating system run smoother. So solid state hard drive is definitely a good upgrade. And if you need the hard drive space for holding your files, your documents, all that stuff, then yeah, it's kind of a no brainer. You'll need that hard drive upgrade someday. And then there's the graphics processing unit or the GPU. I'm going to say for most people, especially most people watching this, if you're not using your computer for advanced workflows like video editing, 3D modeling and rendering or other stuff like playing games, then you don't need any fancy graphics card, any fancy GPU. However, if you plan on doing any of those things, a dedicated GPU is always a good idea. If you're on a PC, you can upgrade the GPU on your computer. If you're on a laptop, very rarely can you ever upgrade a GPU on a laptop. So again, this is the kind of thing where if you need a GPU, you probably already know that you need a GPU. And if you are into those more advanced workflows, and you have a GPU and it's not such a good GPU, this is where, you know, spending a little bit on a GPU can, can really make your life a lot better. GPUs are also important for getting lots of monitors going at once. So um, most computers have built in maybe up two monitor ports. If you wanna have like three monitors, like I have four monitors, for instance. Having multiple monitors for uh, digital art is really, really nice because you can have your documents open on one, your art open on another one, and your palettes open on another one, and YouTube open on another one, or music or whatever. I mean, the GPU lets you have access to all that stuff. So I'd say, again, if it's important for you, you probably already know it's important and it is a pretty expensive upgrade. So um, I say go for it if you think you need it. Okay, onto the displays. So the displays, there, there's two factors for a display. I mean, there's lots of factors, but there's two main factors. There's the size of the display and the resolution of this display. 
the size is how big it is how you know like if you're if you're a digital painter for instance you want you know a display that really fills your your vision so you can see the whole big picture at once and the resolution is basically the the pixel density of your display it's how crisp everything is so for example a 1080p display that's a high definition display that's relatively small will have pixels that are much smaller than a 1080p display that's pretty big because it's the same amount of pixels just crammed into a smaller space so generally the bigger the display the more pixel density you want to have so you know a 24 inch display you're probably fine with a 1080p um, high definition display a 27 or a 32 inch display you know maybe you're getting into uh you know 2k which is 1440p territory any bigger than that and you know maybe a 4k display is right for you just keep in mind that the resolution of your display um a really high de high definition displays they really do benefit from a dedicated graphics card, a GPU. So if you're running on integrated graphics on your computer or laptop, then just maybe give it a test first or just examine your workflow and make sure you're not gonna be giving your integrated graphics processor uh, more than it can handle with a, a huge display, like a 4K display with lots of pixels, for instance. Um, but you know, a, a nice monitor is a really nice upgrade for a digital artist, especially with like the color accuracy and just being able to, to see more of your picture at once in, in, in lots of detail. It, it really is one of my favorite upgrades for a digital art setup, whether or not it's important for you. I really think depends on your workflow, but yeah, it's definitely high on my list. And last but not least, you need your peripherals. I'm gonna just group these all into one. You know, it's a keyboard, it's a mouse, it's a drawing tablet. Whatever you need for the way that you work, that's what we're talking about here. Upgrades for a keyboard, pretty basic. I mean, most people can get away with a, a very basic keyboard. The same with a mouse. Um, a mouse with high DPI, that's dots per inch, you know, the, the sensor on your mouse. That can make a, a pretty big difference for making art. You know, having a, a very, accurate mouse um, especially if you're not working with a drawing tablet that can be a game changer for sure M luckily a, a, a nice mouse with a high dpi that's not even an expensive upgrade drawing tablets can get pretty expensive for the good ones i made a video on what kind of drawing tablet you might need for getting started with digital art so i'll link that in the description below but a really nice drawing tablet is so nice to work on you want one that's big you want one that's accurate. You want one that has lots of pressure sensitivity. Maybe it'll have extra features like when you're working to, um, you know, actually detect the tilt of the mouse and angle your brushes in the program that you're working in. A drawing tablet is super important. And if that's your bottleneck, then that that is a, a key upgrade that you definitely want to consider. It's one of the most enjoyable upgrades that you can get for your system, hands down. Okay, so we've talked about the basics. These are the big things that you can upgrade for your setup. Let's get on to the million dollar question. What is the most important upgrade for your digital art setup? Like I said at the start, the most important upgrade for your digital art setup might not be so obvious at first. Because here's the thing, if your display sucks, you know that you need a new display. Every time you work, you're trying to get stuff done and this, this crappy display, it's always in your face. When you have some cash and you're, you're ready to invest in some sort of digital art setup upgrade, you're obviously gonna spend it on your display, right? But here's the thing, your display might suck, but displays are expensive. And there are probably a ton of other small parts of your digital art setup that also aren't so great. I'm not talking about the big things here. Those are obvious things that you've already thought about, chances are. I'm talking about the small quality of life upgrades that you don't even think about. That's because the most important upgrade for your digital art setup is the one will, that will make you happy without even realizing it. Things like a mouse pad, keyboard, speakers, maybe a chair or a desk. 
here's an upgrade that I got recently. This is my new keyboard. I didn't need a new keyboard. My old keyboard got the job done. It wasn't very fancy, but I love this new keyboard. I've wanted an old school mechanical retro keyboard for a long time. It doesn't make my art better directly, but it makes me love my digital art setup more than I did before. And it inspires me to make art just a, a little bit more than I did before. So even though I really could have used a, a new processor for my computer, or I could definitely use a, a higher resolution main display, this was the upgrade that I needed for my soul <laughs> to make me happy. So it was the most important upgrade. Or even things to make your space more beautiful. A house plant or a lamp, or even just a nice new coffee mug, something that inspires you. Getting an upgrade doesn't mean you have to spend a, a ton of money on some fancy piece of electronics. Because art, because digital art, is so much more than the, the superficial things that happen on the computer screen. When you're a digital artist, it's easy to get kind of sucked into the, the process of you're making your stuff in a digital environment that you kind of forget that you exist in the real world too. Now, this might just be me. I think getting lost in a digital space is a trap. I think a true flow state where you're one with both your art in your mind, also your body in the real world. This is where art becomes that, that beautiful synergy. As, as cheesy as it sounds, this is where you become one with your work. And that's so much more important than having more RAM in your computer. I mean, sure, the, the RAM upgrade might, you know, make it easier to do your work, but if you ignore the other stuff, then you're ignoring that part about being an artist that is you, the person in the real world, enjoying your craft, enjoying your life and enjoying making art. I would rather work on a crappy computer in a space that's comfortable and beautiful and inspiring than to have an amazing digital art setup with a, the best computer and the best display and the best tablet in some dank dungeon that sucks my will to live. And that's why the most important upgrade for your digital art setup isn't the one you think you need. It's the one that will bring you joy and that will make you love the art space that you work in. And uh, luckily that this super important upgrade will probably cost a lot less than that new computer monitor or whatever. And that brings us to the end. This video turned out to be a, a lot longer than I thought. So uh, thank you so much for bearing with me and sticking to the end of the video. Please let me know in the comments below, what's the last upgrade that you got for your digital art setup? Is there some sort of upgrade that you've had your eye on that you're excited to get? And maybe has my chat inspired you to uh, rethink the uh, the priorities in your upgrade path? While you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, click the thumbs down button if you dislike it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching.